Digital lifestyle marketers and people beyond. This is Domingo with you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Today we're going to be showing you how to use the user testing mobile app. If you have a user testing account, then you will want to watch this. If you don't have a user testing account, go back to the, the video at the end so that you can create a user testing account and then watch this video. So enough about that. Let's get to the video. So we're going to click on the user testing app right here. So the way to get the user testing app is you have to install the app once you sign up for user testing and then it gives you a link to download the app. It's basically an APK file that installs right on your phone. So that's what you need to do. Go to the link in the browser on your computer and then it will instruct you on how to download the app for your mobile smartphone. So this is what the setup looks like right here. It says there are no tests available for this device because there is no specifications on the user testing website to do tests on your smartphone. So you don't see them yet because you have to go log into your user testing account so that you can see them. But if you click on the three lines on the top left here, it shows you your name, your user testing name, payment pending, recent average rating, and then it shows tests for this device, tests for other device. So tests for other device is basically your desktop notifications. So you can see your desktop notifications here, but you can't do them on your phone because they're designed for a computer. But you can do tests for this device, which is this device that you're looking at, when you press it and there's nothing available yet, unless you refresh the screen and then it gives you tests otherwise. So it's sort of like having it open and keeping it open so that way if you do get a test from the user testing website, then it will come onto the screen. So we are going to go to the other options here. So there's only just a few things here because once you start a test, it will give you instructions on what to do on your smartphone. And then you have to go through the test like normal on any user testing page. And then once you're done the test, it will give you instructions on how to upload your test to usertesting.com. So what these buttons do is view support center. It takes you to a Google Chrome window that takes you to the support center, as you can see here. So it opens up a new web browser window and you can contact user testing support from here. So you just have to sign into your account again and then you can ask your questions if you want help, that sort of thing. So, And then when you go to contact support, it then gives you the option to contact support. So crash, upload failed, other, and then you can explain what happened and then you submit it and then they will help you out. And then it shows you about so this is the version of the app that we're on right now, internal use only. And then it gives you the option to sign out. So if you want to sign out of your account using this, you can go sign out. And then once you're back onto the app, you can log in again and then resume tests. So that is basically it on how to use the mobile app for usertesting.com. Like I said, if you don't have a usertesting.com account, watch the video at the end so that way you can go to that video and it'll show you how to set up a user testing account so that way you can get started making money doing tests on your phone or your desktop. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day and remember, domination is near. We'll see you soon, everybody. Have a great weekend.